So, there's something wrong with my Goodman furnace. What should I do to fix it? Welcome to another appliance helpers repair guide. Today we'll be covering LED codes, troubleshooting, and reviews to help get your unit back on track. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman furnace, look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman furnace error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code. Single LED flash. Steadily on. Problem. This means your Goodman furnace has no signal coming from the thermostat and won't operate. Fix. You should check your thermostat for an improper setting or connection. Code. Single LED flash. Blinks on and off. Problem. This means that your furnace has been locked out due to too many ignition attempts. Fix. After one hour of lockout, your furnace will automatically reset itself. Code. Two LED flashes. Problem. This means that the draft blower ISNT functioning properly. Or your furnace has a short in the pressure switch circuit. Fix. You should either repair the short or replace the pressure switch. Code. Three LED flashes. Problem. This means your furnace has an open pressure switch circuit or the induced draft blower is operating when it shouldn't be. Fix. You should check the pressure switch hose for blocks or an improper connection. Otherwise, see if any loose wiring needs tightening. Code. Four LED flashes. Problem. This means your furnace has a primary open limit circuit. Fix. You should check and clean all the filters. Tighten the wiring and see if there are any blockages in the flue. Code. Five LED flashes. Problem. This means that your furnace senses a flame without a call for heat. Fix. You should check for a leaky or open gas valve or a lingering burner flame. Code. Seven LED flashes. Problem. This warns of a low flame sense microamp signal. This is the result of a coated flame sensor or a lazy flame due to poor gas pressure. Fix. Adjust the gas pressure according to the information available to you. Code. Eight LED flashes. Problem. This means your furnace has an igniter circuit problem due to a defective igniter or an improperly connected igniter. Fix. Replace the igniter or check the ground wiring for defects. Code. 9 LED flashes. Problem. This means that your furnace has a high stage pressure switch that won't close during a high stage induced draft blower operation. Fix. Check your Goodman furnace for a pinched or blocked pressure switch hose. Code. Continuous LED flashes. Problem. This means that your furnace has a reversed polarity of 115 volts. Fix. You will have to correct the wiring polarity after reviewing the wiring diagram. If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman furnace, look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman furnace troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Why you might need Goodman furnace troubleshooting. Understanding Goodman Furnace Troubleshooting and 80% of the failures can help you with your furnace. Before you call in the professionals, you might have some of the more common issues that will be easy for you to work on yourself. Even a need for a part shouldn't discourage you because almost anyone can figure out some of the most common problems. It makes this easy to install. And you can normally buy this from one of the local suppliers. Here are some of the things that you should keep in mind with Goodman Furnace Troubleshooting issues. Examine the settings on the thermostat. Ensure the power works through the switch, breaker, fuse, and indicator light. Look at the filter. The inline gas valve should be opened. The flame sensor for the ignition confirmation. Check for the blockage in the chimney and the pressure switch. Know when to call in a professional technician. Tools and specs to keep in mind. The tools and specs you need will largely depend on the task at hand. For example, if you were to clean your furnace, you will need a toothbrush. Vacuum, scrub brush, cotton swabs, toothpicks, rags, and a replacement filter. An HVAC professional will have a lot more like hammer, cordless drill, cordless saw, tape measure, bits, screwdrivers, wire cutters, pipe wrench, tool bag, utility knife. How to check the thermostat and furnace. While it might sound goofy, you actually want to look at the thermostat for a couple of telltale signs. You'd be surprised how many times an HVAC professional shows up only to replace the batteries in the thermostat. First, look for a jumbled digital display. If you have this, 
the thermostat might need replacing. And an HVAC professional can do this. You might also check the batteries or look at the temperature setting to make sure that it has been turned up high enough. You might also look inside for loose wires or wires that are touching. In some cases, you might need to tighten up the wires or tidy them up. Caution notes. When it comes to the furnace, an ounce of prevention is worth one pound of cure. Routine cleaning and maintenance on the furnace don't demand specialized knowledge if you have a few hand tools. But we don't recommend you do anything tricky or dangerous with the furnace. For example, don't try to adjust the gas burners. It's one of the most important aspects of the furnace. And you want to make sure that it has been set right because this distributes the gas in the furnace correctly. If it isn't done correctly, it can cause a flash fire. If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman furnace, look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman furnace repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. Goodman manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Goodman appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Goodman furnace is not heating. The igniter gets very hot and glows bright orange to light the gas burner. If the igniter fails or cracks, the furnace won't heat. To determine if the igniter is faulty, remove the igniter and inspect it for cracks. If the igniter is cracked, replace it. If the igniter is not cracked, use a multimeter to test the igniter for continuity. If the igniter does not have continuity, replace it. Goodman furnace is noisy or loud. The blower wheel blows air out of the furnace and through the house. The blower wheel is attached to the blower motor shaft with a set screw. If the set screw is loose, the blower wheel will wobble on the motor shaft, and the wheel will be noisy as it turns. Check the set screw to ensure that it is properly tightened. Next, inspect the wheel for damage. If the blower wheel is damaged, replace it. Goodman furnace starts then stops. The flame sensor monitors the burner to detect whether or not a flame is present. If the flame sensor is defective, it might fail to detect a flame. If the flame sensor does not detect a flame, the control board will shut off voltage to the gas valve to prevent the furnace from heating. Sometimes, if the flame sensor is dirty, it will fail to detect a flame. Try cleaning the flame sensor with a fine abrasive pad. If the furnace still doesn't heat, replace the flame sensor. Goodman furnace blower not running. The blower motor blows air through the return vent past the heat exchanger, and into the home's venting. First, make sure that power is getting to the motor. If power is getting to the blower motor, but the motor does not run, the motor may be burned out. If the blower motor is burned out, replace it. If the blower motor hums, check the blower fan to ensure that it spins freely. If the blower fan is unobstructed but does not spin freely, replace the blower motor. Goodman furnace blower runs all the time. The control board has relays that regulate the voltage to each component in the furnace. If the relay that controls the blower motor fails while it is closed, it will send continuous voltage to the blower motor, causing the motor to run continuously. If the control board is at fault, replace it. Here's what some customers are saying about the Goodman furnace. I bought this furnace about a year ago, and it has lowered the temperature swings and reduced my heating bills by almost half. This is all thanks to the double stage heating and high energy efficiency of 95%. The installation was hard for me, and I was forced to hire a technician to do all the setup work and everything turned out well after that. I have not had any issues with my furnace, and I love how well it works. I bought a new house and since day nor the heater smelled like aluminum odor, hot metal odor, or hot burning metallic odor. Now when the AC is on we smell the same hot lighter odor and warm air coming out of registers instead of clean cool air. Goodman after several months of complaint fireplace furnace. Nothing changed. Odor is still here. Installer telling us the load CALC is correct and the right size of furnace installed. Is the odor caused by the heat exchanger getting hot due to size or is the system defective? We bought a Goodman GMV95 two-stage gas-fired unit warm air furnace about 5-6 years ago supposedly top of the line and would last. Last night it stopped working and now has a burnt spot in the circuit board and the gas valve is stuck so no heat. Despite being within the 10-year warranty it is not covered by their warranty because it didnt get registered. The guy was a real jerk on the phone. Warning all potential customers avoid this company. Had a Goodman heat pump installed. 
It did not lower our bills like we expected and were told. It leaked free on every year. But Goodman would not honor the warranty because the installer had evidently not turned in a registration form. The unit was a lemon and we were told it would cost more to start replacing components than to get a new one. I had an old furnace. But it stopped functioning last winter. I decided to try a Goodman furnace is recommended by one of my brothers. The GCVM96 model heats my house quickly. And my gas bills have gone down by a noticeable margin. I am yet to do any repairs on this model. And I don't expect to do any repairs soon. If I am to buy again, I will, of course, buy Goodman again although the prices are a bit high. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.